Welcome back, JC here, and here's how you connect the FreeSky XSR receiver to the XRacer F3 or 3 flight controllers. I'll be covering the version 2.1, 3.0, and 3.1 all in this video because they're all almost exactly alike. I will also leave you links to my XSR, XRacer, and Tyrannus playlist in the top right of your screen or in the description below. In this video, I'll be using the 2.1, but I will point out the differences between that and the 3.0 and 3.1. So if we look at the flight controller, these pins here uh, are the input pins, channels 1 to 8, and then we have on the very end, next to channel 8, the SBUS pin. It says SBUS, at least on the 2.1, it says SBUS here, but it's actually not the pin just above it, it's the pin adjacent to it, which is the pin I have this white wire going to. On the 3.0 and 3.1, uh, it's pretty simple. It's just the pin right next to where it says SBUS. This receiver is capable of both SBUS and PPM, but because I want to use SBUS, uh, that is why I have the uh, SBUS wire ran to the SBUS pin. Then of course I have power going to the pin in the middle and ground going on the pin on the edge. So then it just plugs into your XSR like this. Uh, now the black wire is ground, red is power. This green wire in the middle, it's actually yellow on yours. I just replaced mine because it got cut. Uh, so just know that it's supposed to be yellow. Then there's a green wire that I cut because that is the PPM wire and I don't ever use PPM. Uh, so I just cut it. And then the white wire on the end is the SBUS wire. So just to reiterate, the uh, wire next to last we don't need. Now for telemetry, telemetry has to go to a UART and over here we have UART number one and UART number two. Uh, I'm going to recommend not using UART number one because it is tied in with the USB so any device connected to UART one if you try to go in a beta flight or a clean flight with a device connected at the same time it's going to mess things up. Uh, so if you can't avoid that avoid it. That's why I'm using UART number two and you will see where it says RX2 and TX2 which is UART number two receive and transmit. It has to go to a transmit which is the uh, this pin here. Now uh, this will apply for the version 2.1 and 3.1 if you have the 3.0 they accidentally crisscrossed these two pins so really uh, RX2 or receive is actually the transmit pin. So if you have a 3.0, place your telemetry wire on this pin on the end RX2. Now with everything wired up, we can plug in our USB cable. This is going to power the flight controller and receiver both. At this time, if you have not yet bound your receiver, you need to do that. Uh, just look at my XSR or Tyrannus playlist and you will find that video. I've already bound my receiver, so once I turn my transmitter on... Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. Now I get the solid green light, which means it is properly bound and everything is working. Uh, once you get the solid green light, you can move on. So if we go into beta flight, one more thing I just want to point out. If you use clean flight, it should work, um, but if you do want beta flight, you have to flash beta flight firmware. So just as, as a side note, if you use the version 2.1, it uses the SP Racing F3 firmware. Not, not the Evo, not the Mini, but just plain old F3. If you use the version 3 or 3.1, you will use the XRacer SPI firmware. And I've already flashed firmware, so I'm skipping that. Uh, now we just want to go to ports and because we put the telemetry wire on UART number two, under UART two, come here to telemetry, and even though it is a free sky receiver, this is two different types of telemetry. Uh, the D4R2 uses free sky telemetry, but the XSR, all the X series receivers use smart port. I know there are no UART three labels on the flight controller itself, but it's actually the SBUS pin. Uh, that is the receive for UART number three. So under UART three, come over here and turn on Serial RX, and then save and reboot. Now go to configuration and scroll down. 
you want to turn on RX Serial because we are using SBUS and then choose what type of serial which is SBUS scroll down again and turn on telemetry and save and reboot at this point everything should be working so just to test it we will go to the receiver tab if you move your joysticks around roll pitch yaw and throttle should all be moving on your screen if you have created any switches you can test those out now things are about to get real hybrid mode stunt mode active cheat mode active okay everything's working now in the Tyrannus, we want to press menu to go to our models, hold the page button down to go backwards a page to telemetry, then scroll down and discover new sensors. Press enter again to stop discovery, and there is all of your telemetry sensors. If you see all of these, then you are done. If you are only getting four sensors, then stick around. You actually get telemetry from two different places. The flight controller of course but also the receiver if you only get four sensors then that means that your telemetry is not working it's not halfway working it's not working at all as long as the receiver is getting power you will always get those four sensors even if the telemetry wire is not even connected to anything you will still get those four sensors um, so to fix this the only possible cause it is is either uh, recheck your wiring and recheck all of your configuration changes in beta flight or clean flight. Um, it's usually just a simple fix. You sometimes may have pressed the wrong button or something. Uh, so just go back, recheck it, and then your telemetry should now be working. So that's going to do it for this video guys. Check out those playlists that I left the links to and I will see you again soon.